Did you know that there are more than 450 artificial islands around the world today? A few examples of sea-based artificial islands built around the 20th century is the city of Venice, the Kansai International Airport in Japan, and Zanschans in Netherlands. The development of such islands has gained attention due to high-profile projects that had massive economic returns. The Gulf region has recently embraced the concept of artificial islands such as the Palm Island project in Dubai, the Pearl Island in Qatar, and Amwaj Islands in Bahrain. However, there has been a continuous debate about the environmental and geographical implication of constructing man-made islands. It is believed that the construction of man-made islands impact the environment by destroying coral reefs and damaging the marine ecosystem. As for the geo-implication, it alters natural landscape through reclamation and dredging, meaning that countries were claiming space and expanding their territorial claims. In China, land reclamation have increased significantly to accommodate the growing population and support economic development. However, in South China Sea, there is a huge conflict over building and militarizing artificial islands by China and disputed areas with Vietnam, the Philippines, and Malaysia. On the other hand, artificial islands can positively affect the environment by serving as a defense mechanism against rising sea levels and natural disasters. Additionally, artificial islands can restore and enhance degraded ecosystems. For instance, building islands with mangrove forests can help restore valuable coastal ecosystems.